And it is us. You are you. We are here. What's I'm up, cool. you guys? Cool. Adventures of the Black Nerds. Glad I'm Baron J. Six I'm T. Jones, man. Um, a lot's been going on. Uh, yeah. E3 is yeah, going on man. as we speak. As we speak. As we talk. Um. Uh, we were just. You, oh, go ahead. What were you about to ask? No, you know what? Let's jump right in. Let's get, so jump we right were, back into what we were we, talking about. We literally had a full, or at least half an episode, talking <laughs> about Google Stadia. Yes. Now, my because I talk too much, I'm gonna just get it out now. My stance on it is, this is the new sliced bread in the gaming industry. What pe- I hope people truly understand what this is. This is the new this is that next step they have single-handedly came in and said screw your consoles screw your everything and we're just gonna put it out there for those who have the capability to use it and made the netflix a gaming and it would be it would be google to do it too i i mean i would have been nervous it was if it wasn't google i wouldn't have bought it of course just Every be, being real, I mean, oh, yes, yeah, I pre ordered mine. I'm a founding member, yeah. suck it. Sorry, because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I believe in it. I, I, first off, you never go against Google. Google's Google's embedded in everything, Google yeah. will be Skynet before <laughs> they would fail. Listen, I, I'm my whole thing is I don't, I don't doubt it. I don't, and I, and I think Google. If there was somebody to succeed at this, Google's the one. Um, yeah. I do believe that we need another console. Uh, something like oh, yeah. this is more, to be honest, this is this product that they're pushing is not a like hardcore gamer type of. This is literally, this goes for everyone. This is E. This yeah. is, your kids can play it. Mm-hmm. You know, you anywhere in the world, I can play as long as I got oh, something to play. Man, it's just, it's literally. Good at what bro this is a do you understand okay folks mo- i feel like most people who listen to us have kids mm-hmm. um, i'm pretty sure I, we have kids it would be cheaper for me to set both my kids up with a google stadia account and go because for one people need to realize you can use any bluetooth controller go buy them a used controller from gamestop Xbox. or best buy and then go and set them up on their tablet now they're gaming. It's a app, folks. What a lot of a lot of people I've seen, I've seen a lot of issues where they're like, oh my God, $138. No, 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 no. That's if you, for the $138, you're getting a uh, Chromecast Ultra. You're getting the uh, special edition controller, which all it is is just looks, aesthetics, but it's used to getting a controller. Yeah. And you're getting three months of the service. It's an app, folks. It's a free app where it costs $9.99 a month. Did you see it. the did you see the deal, the destiny deal? Oh, I, that's why I bought it. I was like, oh, whatever, that's worth it alone. <laughs> Hell, that destiny, that destiny pack cost that much. If I Hell, mean until they Well, they, they said it was a three hundred dollar value, but I believe it's more than that. Oh no, but I'm talking about not at cost, but if you went and bought it right now, everything, I think it would come out to about 138 bucks to get everything for uh um, right now. Destiny right now. Including season pass. Mm, no, I think it's cheaper than that. They lowered the price. They cut the price down okay. heavy on it. So okay. they it, oh, you, and weren't they talks about free to play for Destiny? It is what they did was they um, okay. Let's stay on topic. We're we'll talk about Destiny. Um, okay, Stadium. but no, but th- folks, you will be able to save yourself so much during the holidays. I don't have to go buy my kid. The new system. All I gotta do is give them the Wi-Fi pass, and this is for kids who are just want to copy you. You know, I'm talking about your your ten and unders who yeah. aren't heavy in the gaming. I'm not talking about your 15 year old. You might need to still buy them a console, but your ten and unders, like my girls, if I would have no problem setting them up a 999 account mm-hmm. and letting them just run rampant. But to be on. honest, you don't even need to see, and that's the thing, you don't even need to set them up. Count. You can literally buy them a game that they play. If they like 
and I'm just throwing games out there. If they like mm-hmm. Sonic Racing or a game mm-hmm. like Mario Kart or something like Mario that, game. is buy the game and let them play yeah. it. All they yep. need is their tablet and their phone. And so, they said. And they good. And every child has a tablet. Yeah. <laughs> every my, child. I mean, both my kids got tablets. And one just is one and a half. Mm. And the other one's turning three. Yeah. My, like, and they got tablets. Full blown tablets. It's ridiculous. I literally saved my daughter's old tablet for my son. Mm-hmm. So he got a tablet on the way. Once he turned like two, three, he'll mm-hmm. have a tablet. But yeah. everybody, every child has a tablet. If not, every parent has a smartphone. Yeah. So you got the smartphone. The oh, you got Google Stadia. <laughs> hey, hey, think about now. You're gonna have your snot nosed little kids running up. Can I play your phone? <laughs> now like, they now it's a whole new level. You can't even say no because it's the same as can I watch YouTube? Yeah. You know that's that's the world we live in now. It went from you got any games on your phone to you got YouTube to let me see a Netflix to now it's gonna be let me log into your Google Stadia. <laughs> Nah, hell no, nah, I couldn't do it. Game phones no more. I they want to play like it's it's the real deal. Like I'm trying to play Battlefield. Give mm-hmm. me your phone. But then I but see then I think about it. Fortnite was already doing that. Fortnite yeah, yeah, monopolized the game, that. dog. Oh, yeah. they, Completely. I went to my nephew. I went to my uh, my sister's house. My nephew had Fortnite everywhere on the TV, on all the consoles, on all the tablets, all the iPhones, everything. His mom's phone. <laughs> Like, Bro, dang. any kid I interact with, the first thing I say is, you're trash at Fortnite. <laughs> I'd ruin you. <laughs> Lord knows I've played the game four times. In my hey, listen. Life. I, I see. My- I tell every kid I come across, I just look them in their face like, I would ruin you. Bro, I see my nephew doing the some. build skills is trash. I see my nephew doing some crazy stuff on that. I said, I ain't messing with you. I don't even want to play this. One me, one feet, one me. I'm not yeah, playing I'm like, with no, you. I'm not, I'm not getting my spirits broken. I'm like, but I just like to put that fear in them and let them know, like, it's nothing. You know me. I'll never know because I'm never going to play it. I got to switch the game up. I'll 1v1 you in Destiny. Right. I'll 1v1 you in Street Fighter. Man. <laughs> but hey, I think but no, but Google's. What? No, go ahead. I, I talk too much. Okay. So Google Stadium, it, the idea of it is perfect. I'm I'm I would want it to work, but I'm I know I want it to work, not I would want it. I want it to work because it it's something that we need. We need something like this um, because for so long the competition has been, or console wise, it's only been. We, you can't even count PC because PC no, people. Yeah. They don't only just get, I mean, some of them have a, a strictly gaming PC, but then people are beyond stratosphere. Yeah, it's another world. Uh, exactly. So console, it's only been two consoles neck and neck, literally, and it's it's preference for one and two. So you may say Xbox is one. I may say PlayStation is one. But it's literally one and one. There, I don't see an issue with another console coming into the game and lighting that fire, because now mm-hmm. everybody got to step it up. Look, look, look! Xbox went to, and we'll, we're going to get to this too. Created the Orion, uh, yeah. Orion, and uh, like you X- got all these different things now. Xbox had to come out and say something about Project Scarlet. Google Stadia to, just is is dropping. Yeah, like it's real. It comes hey, out the end of this year. Yeah, I told you I pre-ordered mine. We can't. It comes out when the new DLC for Destiny comes out. So it's like, yo, we can't, we can't be can't second fiddle, around. and we for sure can't be second fiddle to a new console. And you know what's bad, dude? They, they, they have to hope this fails horribly. Hell yeah! Everybody hopes it fails. <laughs> the industry needs Google Stadia to fail. I don't think as I a think, consumer. Folks, please believe me. Don't let other people ex- t- talk you away from this. For This is the Netflix of gaming. Look at your Netflix account. Look at how much use you get out of it. Look at where you are when you're doing it. Now, instead of having to bring your gaming laptop or carry your console everywhere, you're going to get to your hotel room because I've been to a... Hey, I actually been to one of the new modern hotel rooms they're building up around this way mm-hmm. and where they... Uh, you like walk into your room, you got to put your key card in, and then the TV has your name and it has a bunch of apps. And oh, okay. da, da, da. yeah, it, that, that's the where they're going. Totally now, recall. instead of seeing HBO, Netflix, you're going to see HBO, Netflix, and Google Stadia. Stadia. 
Oh yeah, your room comes with ten free games. Like, bro, I'm look. I'm. Or you can just bro, log into your own account. <laughs> you can, or you can log into your own account. This is the world, bro. I'm getting goosebumps. People, people, hear me. This is good for us. <laughs> Bad for them. <laughs> this is really good for us. I'm 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 not gonna front. I I do question it. I like I said, want it to work. It needs to work, but I just don't. The way they presented it, it was like flaw free. And yeah. we, oh, every gamer knows that that's bullshit. That's bull, I'm hard lined in and I lag out. Every every new game that comes out, every Call of Duty, this is Activision, been along for it. Every Call of Duty, every DLC for Destiny, every any game we talking you thinking about right now that when it comes out, if it comes out mass release, there is always an issue. Oh, yeah, some type of. It. I'm just saying, think about it. Look at many times if you watch your favorite. Look at Anthem when Anthem came out. Oh, Look bro, at the division when the division, hours. man, they were down. There they were had hours to. they couldn't get on. They put out tech. Your they put out streamer. tweets. They'll tweet, hey, uh, yeah, servers are down. We're looking into the issue. Blah 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 blah. Or they'll put out ways to resolve the issue. When Google came out and they said that when when they the not even okay, so they did a presentation about a month ago on mm -hmm. this whole thing. When they came out and they said lag free and they said anywhere in the world i was like D <laughs> i said yo i was so excited to hear it but then i literally shook my head and was like hold up like, it's impossible that shit is unreal because you folks i'm gonna be real most you know we're in the u.s u.s internet is absolute garbage mm. sorry putting it out there if you took the average internet out here, it's just as bad as our average minimum wage. Like it is trash. <laughs> so it, it's it really is. It's not good. Yeah. But but most people have hotspot. But you won't even need hotspot. Why? Because you just bust this bad boy out and Bluetooth your damn controller or keyboard or whatever else to it. And you go to work. Mm -hmm. You telling me I can be sitting in an airport or sitting at Starbucks on Starbucks Wi-Fi, trashing somebody in a game? Get out of here! Or like, pissing people off because you lagging? <laughs> yeah, or or ruining the game because I'm lagging. But see now, now for the what I look at this game for, I truly look at it for the Netflix aspect because I am doing what I'm doing, and living the life I'm living and trying to do YouTube, trying to do podcasting, all these other things I'm working to do streaming. If I'm going to buy a game, it's going to be co my console or PC. Mm -hmm. Period. But I will get this, the Google Stadia service and play whatever the hell they got on there. Yeah, That's happening. Whatever comes with the, the service, the so, 999. Are you getting the new systems? Um, okay. Because because now, okay, my argument to you is why go get Google Stadia when Xbox offers you that? Xbox mm -hmm. offers you a service, Xbox offers you mirror play. Mm -hmm. Why go get Google Stadia when Xbox already offers that? Because Google Stadia, I don't need to be close to my station to play it, to my console. Oh, so they don't it's not remote play on Xbox then. Xbox has remote play, but just like with PlayStation remote play. It's all, you know what I mean? It's yeah. all based on how tight your signals to each other are. Okay. But with Google Stadia, the signal is the app. <laughs> like mm. the signal is not how close are you to your home console? How strong is your internet at home to connect to your internet where you are? Oh, okay. No. My this is whatever I'm connected to, whatever Wi-Fi. Hell, I don't even need Wi-Fi if my phone service is good enough where I'm at. Mm -hmm. That is your console. Hmm. So are you, no, are you getting the new consoles? I, if I... Uh, See, and I guess you're the wrong person to ask because you're not really loyal to anything yeah, when it comes to, you know, gaming and stuff. You'll play... It makes sense, but I'm. I, I guess bought a PS3 because it had a bl uh, a Blu-ray player. Like I'm, you would honestly, I feel okay. Let's let's jump back. 
let me let me walk people through it real quick. I'm gonna be as quick as possible. During that time yeah, frame, man, look, he and three came out. You were an idiot if you didn't buy one. Why? It came with a Blu-ray player. You would what was it? Six hundred? Was it five ninety nine? Yes. It was five ninety nine for a PlayStation three. People were buying Blu-ray players for a thousand dollars. Blu-ray people need to understand the technology of Blu-ray. When it first came out, kids, people out there who don't know, who wasn't old enough, it was expensive as heck. People were going broke getting a Blu-ray system. Damn, I guess I wasn't I wasn't old enough for that because it was always cons it was either PlayStation 2, which played DVDs, PlayStation. No, and yeah, same, so now same thing. You were dumb to go and buy a place a DVD player when you, it would have been cheaper for you to get a PlayStation 2 mm -hmm. because it had the capability to run blue uh DVD. DVDs, yeah. At a, it came like it's a two for one versus just buying a one trick pony. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so we're gonna now, have to wrap it up. I gotta stay on the time, dog. Sixty minutes, you gotta wrap it up. One minute. Okay, okay. So moving back forward to the new consoles, I'm actually hesitant because if they don't offer full backwards compatibility with disc, I'm gonna say no mm. because you gotta think about how many games are coming out before Scarlet releases. And PlayStation is not going to release a lot further behind Scarlet. But, so it's safe but, to say. Safe to say, PlayStation already announced backwards compatibility with PlayStation 4. So, uh, yeah. Okay. But, but now my next question is, is it going to be with disc? Am I uh, going to be able to play it? Yeah, they said disc. And they also said that you will be able to play with PlayStation 4 users with your PlayStation 5. Just saying that out there. Okay. So now I feel more comfortable. Actually, I'm sorry, just to clarify, that was a leak information, but where it came from was very credible. So, uh, so at this point, so let's let's act as if it's true, just for the hope's sake. Okay. Because I really do hope it's true. Because we live in a day and age where people play off of nostalgia, and if these companies were smart, they would just rehance all their games. Mm -hmm. Why come up with something new? They hell, they just announced. I think they were talking about doing a Final Fantasy VIII. I don't know if that was fake. I didn't watch the Square Enix. Uh, yeah, uh, me neither. I didn't watch it. I didn't. I didn't watch it. It's too much going on, man. E 3s here. He's in. But no. But but look, I if Xbox is disc compatible, I'm a, no because the only game they announced to come out with is Halo, and I'm okay on Halo. Yeah, but I don't, I don't need to see Master Chief no more. But uh, I mean, <laughs> I get okay so. No, wrapping just, this all up, wrapping it all up. I'm cool yeah. with it because, or, or no, actually, let me wrap it up with a question. Do you think that they'll take the same approach that they took with these when these consoles came out? Because it was full blown. Listen, listen. At the end of the life cycle of the games, y'all had enough time to beat these games. We're only gonna give you Grand Theft Auto Five, and yeah. we're gonna transition over. Yeah. But with the announcement of this, especially with PlayStation announcing it, Xbox better say it. They better say it, and they better they, do it. Because, because the reason okay. why, the reason why I say that they need to do it is because they will be second fiddle to yeah. Google Stadia. Oh yeah, they will be in third place <laughs> if they if they don't announce that. And let me, let Google or Play. My last thing, PlayStation will be second behind Google if they don't either team up with Google and come out with some type of like streaming. So actually, no, they have PlayStation now. So I think what they'll do is they'll just update it to to give you new releases to it. So hey. everybody, they all got some type of streaming service. Hey, let's let's make it super dirty. Now we know that on most of these consoles, PlayStation and Xbox, clearly the consoles that are out, mm -hmm. even 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 the Nintendo Switch has apps. Yep, Stadia is an app. Mm -hmm. What if I'm on my Xbox, jumping into my Google Stadia account to play the games that I own there? They wouldn't do that. I know they wouldn't. They would. They'd be. You would be a goddamn fool. Excuse fool. my language. They would, they would be a fool. <laughs> you would be. I'm with you. A hundred percent. If Google did that, 
Stadia becomes number one and Google becomes number two, PlayStation becomes number three. Number three. Look, I'm going to tell you, bro. Because there's super diehard Xbox fans out there that would oh, never yeah. leave oh. no matter what. Well, no matter know, what I'm exclusive why I'm, with it. I'm American. I'm, I'm United States. Xbox. I want <laughs> to win. No, nah, like being real. I want yeah. Xbox to win. Mm-hmm. You know, I want them to do well. Put my flag up. Like, no, I'm just just keeping it real. Yeah. Um, but I, I sure love me some Japanese games, bro. <laughs> you know me, RPG. Anime. He ain't loyal. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not. But at the end of the day, I usually buy my Xbox first. Yeah, because that's what. But that's your starter system. Yeah. You know, even everybody came from PlayStation first. Oh yeah, of everyone course. did. But everybody, there was a transition stage when Xbox came out where Xbox was life. Was everything. So, <laughs> you know, let's... We, but no, but no, but final, my okay. final thing. Hurry up. This is my it. My final thing. The new consoles, in order for me to buy them day one, need to come out with a game that's enticing enough for me to buy it. Mm. And as of now, it's not, it's not enough. Xbox it's not at enough. least. X- Halo, I'm good, bro. I've been playing Halo since I was literally living in this house as a kid. Like, <laughs> I've been playing Halo for so long. Now, that doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just, it's not enough. My love for Halo is not enough to make me go and drop on Project Scarlet. And then to find out that that's not even going to be the best one, they're going to also, t- like, after that release, a better version of the new system. So it's like I'm gonna just hold my I'm gonna hold my money in my pocket. It ain't that important. Yeah. Cause think about what games you got. You got Cyberpunk 2077. You got um you got Watch Dogs Legions, which actually looks dope. You got it, nobody in the world stop, buy don't stop, buy Watch stop, Dogs. Stop! 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 <laughs> I'm speaking from a hopeful perspective. Hell no! I didn't say boo. nothing about all the PlayStation leaks. That are Ooh. leaks that come from a source that we don't we don't know how legit it is. Ooh, my no, dog I'm sucks. Speaking, I'm speaking from a place of positivity right now. Man, and you talk about watch dogs. I know for I know for a fact that right now we have they should over, start. To- I, I, there's over 500 hours of games coming out that are going to be for this con this generation. Okay, I know that. So I'll, I'll we'll speak in terms of hours. It's over five hundred hours worth of gener- uh, worth of games coming out in April. Yeah, but okay, but then my argument would just be for you is how much of them games you think you gonna play, and how much of them games in time? Man, I got so many questions for that. What? How many of them games are gonna stand the test of time? I'm just yeah. saying because we're in a different era. People forget we are we are ruled by free to play games yeah, we are bro. free to, to play the, games sure. control the market i'm a f- like we always joke about gamestop going away but it's r- even if everything went to disc if everything went disc let's say they stopped doing cloud gaming mm-hmm. on any level gamestop would still struggle because of free to play games hell yeah like simply simply because and I feel like the only reason GameStop is still alive is because of uh the fact that people's internet is not as good as it could be. Mm-hmm. That bad internet on top of uh on top of uh used games are the only reason GameStop is open in but my opinion. G- GameStop and I think I've said this on here before but I'll say it one more time. GameStop have they have been making the necessary steps to Yeah, survive. going into pop figures, going toys, into- collect yeah, collectibles, yeah. and most of all, going into esports. So I'm talking yeah. about in esports, creating a whole arena of e- for esports. Uh, they're doing their thing, but I mean, on a level still, of if, like you said, if it if it goes that route, GameStop could be over. GameStop could literally just go, "Hey, we gotta shut down and go e-commerce." Like, yeah. oh, everything. I'm actually, shocked that hasn't happened. Because, and the only reason is because they bought Think Geek, and I think they picked up a cell phone company a while back. And too. I, yes, guess, they did. What was it Cricket? They own Cricket, don't they? I don't know. I know you can go I get a SIM card. I, I want to say it's Cricket that they bought, and that was years ago. Because okay. a lot of people, because I used to work at GameStop, folks. Yeah. Just to let you know. All right, so and that's people, it. Twenty four minutes. Yeah. That's enough of that wait, topic. We, we, we need to get into E three. Okay, Sorry, E3. we have so much going on that we need to touch on. 
So go. All right. E3. Um, I thought this E3 was filler. I thought all of it was filler. I thought uh, most of it, they didn't need to do this at E3. Nope. None of it needed to be done at E3. This E3 was a lot of fluff. Yeah. I think either they were hiding something or they've been listening to me with the whole demo thing and they kind of said, listen, we're going to give them a, like a taste taste. We're not going to give them the only super ex- – when when Keanu Reeves comes on stage and that's the most exciting thing that happens, that's bad. Like, that's – yeah, we like John Wick. John Wick doing his thing. I mean, we know he's going to be in uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Now, uh, which I thought was dope. Now, my question for that, because I took notes. I, I didn't. I'm not really an Xbox guy, but I took notes. Xbox announced that they're they partnered with some more studios, mm-hmm. and they've also, or I, actually, I'll get into that later. But my question would to you is was did Keanu Reeves just add the icing on the cake for? Cyberpunk 2077 because I wasn't interested in that game until he came out on stage and I'm like oh they got him in the game game like he in the game game now so it was like oh do I get to play as Neo am I the one no so I I just watched the interview before we got on okay of, um there there was a 50 minute gameplay that they they showed more gameplay to a private group of people okay. and people were able to talk about it lightly. But they didn't and they were it. saying that um, they were saying that Keanu is, and if you notice after they said it and you go back and watch it, you'll realize it. He's your Cortana. Oh, you never really play Halo like that, huh? Okay. He's your, he's your, your navigator. Oh, I'm not playing that shit. <laughs> yeah. He's, no, he's the guy in your head. That pops up and talks to you. Hey, Ali, you can play as John Wick in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, that's a valid argument. Yes, two versions: oh, the official man. John Wick and then the bootleg one that just kind of look like him. Um, yeah, no, no, he's not. He's a major person in the game, mm-hmm. but he's somebody who's a part of you. Yeah, he's not. He's not you. You're not him. Um, uh, like uh, he, and. He, like a spirit. Yeah, so and I I really was joking. I t- uh Cyberpunk 2077 does from what they showed at E3, it looked interesting. Mm-hmm. It, it really did look interesting. I'm I have I'm not really I didn't really follow City Project Red like you do. Mm-hmm. So, um I can just trust what you've what you've said and, on, not only on here but when we've talked about it. Um the so Switch. Huh? The Witcher 3 is on Switch. Of course it is. Jesus. <laughs> Everything's on Switch. I heard Destiny is going to be on Switch. And if it does, bro. you know I'm getting the Switch for, oh, for sure, sure. Bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. Okay. No, I'm not going to go back to Google Stadium. Yeah, no, I'm but, good. But look, when it comes to when it comes to CD, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, I'm actually... I, I'm nervous about how much they're marketing it to everybody, but then I think about it. You got to realize CD Projekt Red's only done one game series; mm-hmm. they've only done The Witcher. Um, so them jump into this, but think about how they marketed The Witcher. Even The Witcher Two, they marketed it to everybody. Even though as soon as you start playing, you clearly find out real quick this ain't an everybody game. This is something that takes time. This is something you got to invest. This is something you really got to sit down with. So I'm not. T- if it was any other company marketing this game, I would be nervous. Like mm-hmm. let's say I'm not going to say EA because we already know. Oh, um, no. I would say. Look, I mean, we'll eat Bioware is EA. Damn, I'm trying to think of something. Oh like hell it. no! <laughs> you can't even go down the market. You can't. Even, uh, you better pull you some RPG independent company. studio out your ass. Because okay, they- <laughs> Bethesda. If Bethesda game companies got a hold of the CD of of the um, Cyberpunk Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, rights, and they were marketing it to this level, I would be nervous because the last time they marketed a game to this level was Fallout 4, and we all know how we feel about Fallout 4. It's not terrible, but it's nowhere near Fallout 3. Fair? Fair. Uh, no, 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 actually, true. Avid. Yeah, we're true, very, yeah. we're big time Fallout yeah. fans. Um, okay. But because CD Projekt Red is doing this marketing, 
I'm happy. And then to find out that Keanu Reeves is not a placeholder, not a sales pitch, like he really is a major part of the game, then that that makes me happy too. Mm. Because, I mean, it's just dope. But when it comes to uh, 2077, I I feel like a lot of people are going to buy it, but it's not going to last long in people's games because it is a heavy RPG. Most people don't play RPGs like that. Just it, uh, There's a lot of people who do. I'm not knocking it, yeah. but you're not going to go down your streaming list, your friend list on Xbox and see a bunch of people playing Cyberpunk. Yeah. Like, that's, that's not it's not what it's going to be. Not when you got characters to level up and gear to get from other games. Yeah. Thank you. But that's, it, not... you, but that's just the, this is just the era we live in. I think True. I think games like that need to get the most out of what they can now. Mm-hmm. Um, I have no problem with games like that, like games like God of War. I have no problem with games like Assassin's Creed. Uh, I, I would say that, oh, especially in compared to, well, compare not not even compared to God of War, this new the new one that came out. But if you compared Assassin's Creeds to like God of War three, I believe Assassin's Creed's longevity would be longer because there's collectibles in the game. Mm -hmm. There's things like that to do in the game. Whereas in God of War, if you beat the game four times or three times, that's it. You didn't beat everything. You beat God mode. You did all of that, whatever, whatever. Um, Yeah. So we're not in the era of, of single player, non online, non RPG games. And they don't thrive. They don't last long. The longevity in them are just—they're just not long. They turn into—they turn into cult classics. Exactly. Like, so they—they they really do. They turn into niche games fast. Like there's damn. still a lot of people playing God of War right now. The new one. Mm-hmm. There, there's still a lot of people playing it, but it's not nowhere near what it was when it launched. Yeah. Because there's no—not necessarily there's no reason to keep playing, but. No, there's no reason to keep playing. There's no reason to keep playing. Because if you so, if you get all the collectibles in the game, what else is there to for you to do? There exactly. is no like, there is nothing to test my skill. You didn't pick up all the patterns on all the bosses. You didn't pick yeah, up all the patterns on bosses. all the enemies. Yeah. It's yeah. it literally it, it is what it is. That's what a, that's what these games are driven by. So once I unlock everything in a game, there's no point in playing it. And let me tell you, I think. First off, these RPGs are going to always have a place. They're the first games. Tabletop gaming was the first before digital gaming. Like the, it is what it is. They're Bitcoin. They're yeah, it's it's here forever. It's not it's not going anywhere no matter what comes out. There's always going to be a place for it, clearly. But one thing I will say is once as a overall as the world internet gets better, or once internet becomes a utility or a free service for everybody, because it's going to get to that point. Um, like your government doesn't offer internet. Like it, it's going to get to that point. Um, I think that's when RPGs will take a giant shift because you got to think now everything is going to be games as a service. Look, the industry is getting their ass kicked, like you said, by free to play games. Mm-hmm. Why? Because it just instantly connects us. Yeah. But in this in a sense, free to play games are kind of RPGs. If you think Most about them, it, yeah. because now you Most turn around, I can build this character, I can get this skin, I can get these these skins for my guns, I can customize my character. It may not be super duper like uh like Warframe I think, intensive, I but think tagging them. Mm, okay, Warframe is RPG. Yeah, because Warframe is super, like, I can edit this piece of gear, and then I can uh-huh. edit the left side of that piece of gear, and uh-huh. I can make, I can, I can put the Jamaican flag on my character if I want to. <laughs> so, um, you gotta, with those games, those type of games will, I think, as of right now, will make it, I think there is, they're, they're not gonna go away. No, because never. As, never. as these young kids yeah. get older and they get to experience an online RPG, MMO, like those games are very addicting. And I didn't they know are. that because remember, I came I came from sports games. All I played was Madden, all I played was 2K. Yeah. And once I got a taste of uh, like an RPG Go game, pick up y'all $3 2K 19. <laughs> He's been it's so excited to tell people that. Existence. No, because that's be be real. On a bad day, I still, you got to wait like 40 years before a 2K gets that cheap. 
<laughs> no, real talk. Yeah. Like to walk into a store and see. Do you know a they sell two K eighteen on oh, that's the bad, Xbox though. Live store for fifty nine dollars? Oh hell no! You that's what I'm trying to tell people. They still out here selling two K eighteen for full price. So to see two K nineteen for three dollars, I hopped on that so fast, folks. Yeah, the last I wonder how often they update them shits, or do they just put them there and leave them? Like is everybody is everything a single entry? <laughs> but then Ooh, that sucks. But now see, but now we gotta say that's why we need GameStop. <laughs> that's why we need GameStop. For real. For real. Or at least somebody to go to Best Buy and Price Match against. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stay doing that. I'm like, uh, uh I will go to GameStop, grab a, a paper, and walk out and go to Best Buy and be like Price match. <laughs> Get my okay. points. So points. like I was saying. Um, yeah, go ahead. My bad. I forgot my thought. Well, okay. So we were talking about E3. We we're talking about RPGs. And yeah, um, well, I remember I thought, but we need to move on anyway. So, okay. Yes. E3. What was your, how did you? Oh yeah. I didn't talk about yeah, that. It, it was doo-doo sauce trash. <laughs> E3 was doo-doo sauce trash. Let me go down the list. <laughs> Xbox only showed Scarlet because they had to prove that they was making some type of advancements and they had to show that they was about to do something big because Google Stadia is out here for that hey, ass. Hey, hey, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Microsoft guy, uh, were you were you shocked to hear that there was 14 games uh, straight from Xbox Studios that they showcased at that uh, at no. E3? No. 14 I'm, I'm games, 14 Xbox exclusives, and they yeah. all sucked. <laughs> yeah. 12 um, minutes? Yeah. Who wants to play a game for 12 minutes? <laughs> the, no, this is this is what bothers me about I'm just joking that. about that game anyway. No, 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 because I like the idea of the game, but don't make that party a headline. Bro, that was, that was that an Xbox been, exclusive, that, bro. That should have been, I know, that should have been like a slideshow, like all the games that are coming. <laughs> like and then you got a bunch of stuff showing up in 12 minutes blah, 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 blah. like that that shouldn't have been a main hitter but they're really doubling down on their id um that whole id at xbox the whole indie games now that's fine for them but for me i i'm scared because here it is they're getting they're selling top-notch consoles to play indie games yeah, but I'd rather just I'd rather, spend, I'd rather I'd rather buy a six hundred dollar uh What's build. Again? Excuse my language. No, but I would rather buy a six hundred dollar build that will run all these games plus all these indie games. Why is limit yourself in such a way? Do you know what I mean? Do you yes. hear what I'm trying to say? I, my, like, I think listen, we understand that Halo was the godfather of xbox we understand true. that gears of wars yeah. right behind it we understand that but, but y'all need more than that y'all need, need more something. exclusives y'all need something that is like just days. for xbox for xbox to, yeah, to survive if you're telling me that indie games this indie game is your selling point Oh hell to the no. And then uh, and then the only reason why y'all showcased most of these games was because Sony wasn't there. Yeah. Sony wasn't there. I mean, I got now, I got a list a list yeah. of things I wanted to talk about. They Bro, they world premiered Blair Witch, the horror game. Yeah. They world premiere or they they showed off uh, EA and Respawn Star Wars Outer, Jedi. Let me, the Fallen let me tell you the, let me tell you the games that caught me. Um Outer Worlds caught me. But I've been following that for a minute. Okay. Um, oh, no. Let me finish my whole thoughts on E3 overall. And let me just get this out the way. This year was a wash, not because they didn't show good stuff. Not That's not necessarily it. It was simply because they showed no gameplay. Why? I, you oh, yeah, yeah, just, we talked about that. There was no gameplay. Yep, but there, the gameplay they showed was for like 12 minutes. That Bro, game. They showed gameplay for Battle Toads. <laughs> Thank you. It showed it. Bro, and then don't get me started on Bethesda. Oh my God, Bethesda. Y'all make me sick. Battle Toads. <laughs> Bro, no, let's let's slide. Let's let's move. Let's move down the road. Hey, no, no shots at Battle Toads. I'm pretty sure it's, no, a, I love it's Battle a great Toads. game. I love Battle Toads growing up. But, <laughs> but no, but 
for Battletoads to take up two, three minutes of a presentation. Look, y'all. Okay, I, so no, okay, that this this leads me to a question because I when you messaged me about it, I didn't even read the article. I was just like, hey, you know how I feel about demos. I don't like demos in 2019. I do not like them. I don't like early releases in 2019 because it ruins the experience. But but let's talk about Gears of War for a second. They showed that cinematic trailer. They actually showed two. They showed of the 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 horde mode. Is that a good replacement for gameplay? <laughs> no. <laughs> or would you still no. you don't want them invested money in bro in the actors first, and screenplaying and I'm gonna tell CGI. you I'm gonna tell you why they can't they don't show gameplay <laughs> for for Gears of War. This is my honest opinion because uh-huh. let's be real, it's a sh- it's a shoot to cover game. Or uh, show- get to cover shoot game. Same thing yeah. like goddamn the division. Yeah, you can't show unless you got new mechanics to show off. But that but that's what they uh, but see that's what they argued. What they new yeah. mechanics, mechanics, new yeah, this. They didn't, they didn't show nothing. They they show and. I was excited. I'm like, oh yeah, Gears, Gears Five. I don't play Gears like that, but I do follow the competitive scene. So it's like, oh yeah, I want to yeah. see. I want to see what's going to happen. Blah blah blah. Man, they show nothing. They showed the horde mode, and they showed it in a lot like a like a action scene thing. And, and did whatever. you did you catch that the new horde mode is basically a tweak of um of um like not battle royale. It's a um, like what are those games that we used to always play on the phone? Like ex- escape from. You're basically going to be shooting and running the entire escaping. Yeah, the you're trying to get out, pretty much. Yeah. So they, I'm not. This is trash sauce. And let me tell you, don't show me no game you ain't got no <laughs> gameplay for. Like what was I looking at? Okay, <laughs> Wasteland Three. I'm excited for. Okay, Age of Empires Two remake or uh, remaster. I'm excited for. Yeah, but that's uh, not that's not what we're talking that's about. That's not that's not what we're talking about. Dying Light Two. Okay. Oh, that's another issue, folks. And I, I keep losing con- I keep losing my stride because it's so much. Think about how many of these games we've already seen at an E3. That's what bothered me. Bethesda's whole show was games. I've already knew we're out or we're already out. Ubisoft, which I barely learned how to say for correctly. <laughs> Ubisoft. It, Ubisoft. They are sitting here talking about, yeah, year four of uh, Rainbow Six, even though, yes, the game is doing well. I'm not knocking it. But don't come to E3 talking about year four of anything. <laughs> hey. E3 is not for that. Hey. That shit is doing better than some of these other brand new no, games. Look at and, how long it took for it to. Ha- but, okay, folks, but, I'm not knocking it. I just did a review on a game that's been out for four years. Yeah, but and now you, I'm playing like crazy. But the pe- people who play Rainbow Six Siege, um, are diehard, super True. diehard fans. Right. So your dedicated fan base. This is the one percent of people that play it. You better entertain them. I say this all the time about Destiny, but Destiny has taken a different route. With that, give them something. Give them a new operator, some new skins, a new yeah, gun, yeah. some shit, some shit to make them happy. And but I'm happy at how they addressed it, though. Let's be real. Yeah, they didn't stay on it long. They, they should. Not it's, it's nothing to stay long it's about. Hard, it's not, thank you. Um, <laughs> something that caught me off guard. Um, I feel like that Jedi Fallen Order game is going to be trash. I'm, I looked I'm, at it. it I'm not gonna play it because uh, it looks it looks doo doo sauce. It's 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 hard to play Star Wars games when you've played The Force Unleashed a million quadrillion uh, times, and uh, if it ain't up to that part, I don't want. I'm, if I'm, I'm not go bringing dark. down a Star Destroyer. I need Sith I'm not in with me. it. You know what I'm saying? I need to. I need Sith. Hey, you you know what? He looked too he looked too happy to be a Jedi. I'm good. Dog. That yeah, especially if this is supposed to be after Order sixty six. Yeah, like good, he's bro. looking. Like, but no, my my um my thoughts on it. Not only did he look too happy seeing him, so not only him seeing him green, but the gameplay looks so linear. Like yeah. here it is. You got all these powers. You're this being. 
but you're being we're we're in an open world type of universe now. Mm-hmm. Gaming wise, now sometimes open world is not necessary. There's plenty of games that survive God of War, even though that wasn't completely open world, but it still gave you it that was feel close. of being open world. Yeah, like I can um, go here when I want to go here. Yeah, I don't feel like that's going to be the case with this game. Now that actually might help it. Like, hey y'all, this is only a 20, 30 hour experience. Yeah, but it might and, be bad. but though, but see, the story has to be amazing. It has and the to gameplay be. has to be dope. The gameplay, it they didn't happened. show no damn gameplay. It, it so you, see, now, hey, but real shit, though, I'm cussing and stuff, real talk, hey, it would be raw if, like, when you come across somebody who know how to fight in the game and it turn into a dope moment. Mm-hmm. Like, like, but they didn't show nothing did. like that. Hey, it did. Hey, you know what I always wanted, bro? I always wanted, I don't know how to say the name of the game. I've always wanted the mechanics of like Mordal or um, or even For Honor, but with like Star Wars. Go play Tekken. <laughs> no. I, I, no. See, I knew you was going to say, I, that's why I had it in that's, my head. That's not what I, that's he not what is, I, he, you, he is a character. Him. You can fight with him and you can sidestep. <laughs> No, but that's no, no, no. That's not what I want. I don't want a fighter. That's that's not. I'm not. I don't want combo buttons. But you want to fight? Not what I want. But do you I want, want? Okay, you remember Kingdom Come Deliverance? Yes. If I if I swing my my uh, if I move my directional stick in an angle, I want my sword to come down in that angle. <laughs> and if old dude blocking that angle, he getting off like bink, like we good. So. Yeah, but young. see, but then that leads me <laughs> that leads me to wonder why you couldn't do that with a lightsaber. A lightsaber is probably light as hell. Of it's all your weight is probably just in the handle. So if you tell me I can just do this with my controller both, and just no. Oh, <laughs> well that was remember that was what Jedi Outcast was. Yeah, remember that? Yes, I love that game, man. I'm Ooh, telling I you, I love that game. They need to that come was, out. Okay, that was a better Star Wars experience Bro, to they me than most need, other games. I think that yeah, what was yeah. that? Uh, what was the? It was an RPG one that was online. Um, oh, Order uh, of the Republic was that? What the name yeah, of the game? Knights of the, uh, or, or the Knights of, was it? The Old Republic, bro. Mm-hmm. They need to make like a RPG, like like even take it back to like um, what was this the 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 DC DC universe but Star but Wars? Star Wars. Ooh. Mm. It's over. <laughs> That's kind of what the old republic is, but I, but no, I know what scale you're talking about. Yeah, I know, I know to the scale. Like I should be able to. Okay, let's let's take a step back Mm because they did actually have a game like that, but it died. Mm -hmm. Um, they they killed the servers a couple years ago, which it was a great article written in Game Informer. It was a dope, amazing article writing about the end of this universe. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I wish I knew the author's name, the writer's name. It was. Dope. Shout out to whoever he was. Dope. But think about, let's think about where games are going to be 15 years from now. Imagine, imagine being able to have the Star Wars game we're dreaming of. Like, oh no, it's, it's, it's God. I, I just need to be rich so I can dictate my own shit. Mm. Because that I, somebody's working on that right now. Yeah, <laughs> if, if I'm if I'm if I'm rich, that's where my money goes. That's where my play money goes. I'm, I'm more, yeah. bro. You're gonna you're making a RPG. <laughs> Star like, this Wars. is what I want. Make bro, it you're happen. remaking SOCOM Confrontation, and it's gonna be like SOCOM. Com- you're gonna be like SOCOM. T- I'm definitely. I wonder I'm if put- that's what Crossfire is gonna be like. Like SOCOM, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I- I've never, I've never heard of it. Yeah, they hyped it up. Don't, I hate when they try to hype me up on something that ain't mainstream. They're like, "Oh yeah, this game's all around the world." And then they said the name of it. I was like, "I've never, I've never heard of this damn game." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I play a lot. Look, I, I wanted to raise my hand, like Mr. Spencer. Um, I play a lot of games. I have never heard of it. <laughs> Last time I heard the word Crossfire, it was that commercial that used to yell at me about the dudes playing with the metal, the metal spinning. Uh, metal spinning balls like crossfire. <laughs> like, remember they used to be floating around, oh, and the kids shit. were shooting the things at each other. I'm like, I uh, I ain't heard the word crossfire in a long time. Yeah. So 
And, it, it, and then not only is it called Crossfire, it's Crossfire X. I, I bet you the never. game is fun. I bet you it's fun. I'm but not going to bet know, that because I ain't never seen or heard of the damn game. But I never heard of, uh, what was it, Warface? Is that what the game's called? Oh, the the, the arena shooter? Is I see. I don't even know it was an arena shooter. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just like Call of Duty. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah. But it's all online, free to play, right? Yeah, free to play. Okay. That shit's, I never it, heard of that, but over. I heard people. I got it downloaded on the PlayStation. You played it? You like it? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's just I ain't had people that want to play it, and I'm not into arena shooters like as, as much as I used to. If I had enough people on my friend list that wanted to play, hell yeah, we're going there and run it up. But I don't have a lot of people on my friends I'm list. Terrible. Huh? I'm a terrible friend. I know, I'm a man. terrible friend. No, you, you just was telling y'all, me how you did your friends. <laughs> hey, bro, I've, I'm terrible. I apologize to all the people who game with me. <laughs> just go, I, I go just, hard for like three weeks. I'm talking like we getting all the accolades, we unlocking all the weapons, and then I'll disappear for a month. Bro, listen, I'm going to be able to play Destiny anywhere. I can bring my, my character, my 1% character everywhere. If you want me to carry you through a raid, let me know, bro. <laughs> I most definitely can help you. I do have but PlayStation. This is the problem, Xbox. though. This is the problem. I'm gonna. I suck so bad at raids that uh, I'm, I'm a hinder. It's just like any other game. Once you learn the mechanics, you know what. See, and that, that's a. This is probably gonna be the last of it. All right, we only got nine minutes left, so let's end it on Destiny. So, uh, oh my bad. Dang, what you wanna talk about? Dang, you just gonna shit all on me? Destiny. We, because we, we talked about, about your Google episode. Stadia, we talked yeah. about your Google Stadia, and that was in there. And we and I did say we were gonna get to that later. And this is later. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. This is yeah, Google Destiny Mads. is part of the Google Stadia. You're yes. right. Everybody playing it now. It's at the top of the directory on Twitch. I was so happy. I looked. I said, "Damn, <laughs> stupid." It's at the top. You're but stupid. they did just come out with a new DLC. Um. Well, ju- this is just for you. With raids and stuff, like I said, man, you just, once you learn the mechanics, you learn what the things that you shouldn't do. Once you learn, okay, I died because of this reason, then you will not do it again. It's mm. real simple once you learn the mechanics. Like, put it like this I was able to play with a full Dutch team in Destiny 1 and beat a raid, not speaking any amount of English, just was running it. I ran the raid so damn much. It was just like, oh, okay, cool. You know what to do. Yeah. yeah. Literally, they posted for a team. I've seen it. And the dude was like, well, I he, I'm not going to even try to attempt to say what he was saying. Um, and then um, uh, all, the one dude was like, uh, all he kept saying was like, left. It sounded like left. So I'm like, I got left. <laughs> so I went and did left. And I did everything I was supposed to do. Did all the mechanics, took care of everything, and we beat the raid. It was that was an experience right there. I was like, dang, I just beat this raid with people I don't that don't even speak a lick of English. So if I know I could do that, you for sure can do that. Just all you gotta do is learn the mechanics. That's it. Stop being like that. <laughs> <laughs> How about you progress? <laughs> and and I feel like I feel like people, I feel like like gaming trophies and achievements aren't like a true resume. I mm. I think I I don't think they're true resumes. Like when I see, oh yeah, you platinum Destiny 2. Oh, okay, cool. But when I see, oh, you beat all the raids, all the prestiges, and you got all the catalysts, oh, you hardcore. Like that's yeah. Like, like you, that's real. Like you have everyone should have like a moment where they put on their gaming resume. Like everyone needs a gaming resume. Like a true I, resume. I'm trying to think of my best moment. Bro, your best moment is beating the game that I had to pay you to beat. Mm, that sucks. I fought so hard to beat that game. And it wasn't even that. It wasn't even that the game was bad. The game was amazing. I have this weird thing. I don't even like watching the end of movies. He don't beat video games. I, you, I don't I don't like things to end. You know why I like early 90s, late 80s movies? Because they would do the whole like, oh, so and so went off to go do this. So and so, so and so lived the rest of their life married to this person. Because it, it gives me a continue. I hate watching stories in. Oh, he said, Arya s- sailed west. 
<laughs> that made me so happy. I was like, yeah! <laughs> she went west. That was it. <laughs> That's all I needed. Now I know that somewhere in the universe, in an alternate world, Arya's out there doing her thing. On the way. best life. There we go. And Jon Snow up there wifing down uh, Wild Wings. Hey, get it how you live, homie. <laughs> Running a cold harem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over. I oh. think we should stop. I think we should call it. Uh, E3 yeah. doo-doo. Yeah, E3. Uh, E3 all it is is full of games we already knew existed. And then Bethesda had the nerve to show two dope, two potentially dope games with no gameplay. So it just looked In cool. In the DLC. Oh, yeah. Um, I was hot about that, bro. Like, real talk. Don't show me Deathloop, which looked amazing. Mm-hmm. But you're but it but, no gameplay. If there was one company I, I can say that you are 100% vested in is Bethesda. Like, you, you go hard for them when it's time to go hard for them. So but let me tell you, though, yeah, they make it hard now. That's a passion. When you hear you talk about them like that, you can hear the passion in that. Bro, they make it so hard. Folks, he's not lying to y'all. Bethesda changed the way I enjoy video games. My first time playing Elder Scrolls Morrowind, waking up in that town, being able to go into any building that's there, walking around, getting lost, but not lost. You're just doing whatever you want. Mm -hmm. However you want to do it, pickpocketing, talking, killing, helping, like being able to, to truly experience that world in that level. And then I didn't even beat Morrowind. Then you ain't beat no game. <laughs> well, no, I beat Oblivion. Um, I beat Oblivion. But even that, that coming out, I still think low key, I would rather play Oblivion than Skyrim. That'll probably piss a lot of people off. But what I, makes I, you I, say I, that? Though? Huh? Well, I said, what make you say that? <laughs> For some reason, I just from what I remember, Did I you have truly a better experience. Oblivion. Yeah, I had a better experience with Oblivion. Okay. I, I I really do. I felt like it wasn't. You know what? The dragons was kind of weak in Elder Scroll and in, in uh, Skyrim. Okay, we kind of like felt it. more of a hindrance than a challenge. Like it was, it was like it, it was almost annoying. Oh, don't I hate them enemies, bro? Like I, that's just my opinion. It really, it really in the, in the comments below. Pick one of your favorite games, or it doesn't have to be a favorite game. Yeah. And tell me the most annoying, annoying enemy. Of- that you had to face in these games. I can tell you right now, I got a few, bro. Resident Evil 5, the de- <laughs> them, them, they used to walk, and then they would purposely like stumble to the left or the right when you aim oh, in. Oh, and aiming at them. Man. Oh, speaking of that, you heard Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 is coming to Switch? I'm not happy for that. I'm not. I was just happy yeah. to tell you. <laughs> that, that was it. <laughs> I'm scared at what Switch is becoming. They're trying to, they're trying to let Switch catch up. That's what they're doing. They're trying, and and I, I and I'm sorry for you, Nintendo fans. I straight disrespected Switch like they weren't a part of the console. <laughs> no, <laughs> but no, they're not. They're the reason I didn't argue with you because I heard it and I didn't say nothing is because it's a tier of its own. They successfully made a home console mobile. Yeah, but. They're just not. I just. It's hard to put Nintendo in that that realm. I don't know why. It's, it's just hard. And even though they're they're starting to step out and they're, go yeah. ahead. What they went mean? so heavy handheld. I mean, the Wii was dope. Yeah, the Wii was uh, dope. Yeah, that was that was revolutionary. The Wii. Um, but but we when I think Nintendo, anything past Super Nintendo in sixty four, I automatically go to handheld. Like okay. that's my that's my for me. Yeah. Now I'm, I that's me bypassing the Wii and all that, which the Wii revolutionized I, the types of games. Yeah, I art. think I would more so put sixty four in that argument with like mm-hmm. consoles rather mm-hmm. than anything anyone else. Super Nintendo was Super Nintendo. That's yeah, that's pure classic. You can't even yeah. count that one. Um, yeah, the Wii, the Wii U, even the Switch. It's it's hard to argue. They're not bad. They're not bad. Gaming wow. systems. Actually, you know what's funny? I skipped the Wii and the Wii U. I, I didn't. Legit I didn't. It. I never bought them because those. I mean, I didn't have None kids the at the time. I, 
my wife loved she I, when I met that's how I got a weed. I I adopted a weed when I met my when I met my wife. Gotcha. So um that was it. She was using it for like the tennis. She liked the tennis and the racing games. That was it. But okay. my parent my mom has one. And legit the boxing on there. Yeah, the boxing on there was hilarious. I love me some damn boxing. Yeah. That was... They need another fight night. Oh, you think so? Nah, I think fight nights... It, it's too technical now. You couldn't You couldn't put fight night on on uh, in 2019. It's way too... tech. Gaming controls are too technical now. When you telling me... When you, when you, when you saying that literally you use a stick... Remember when doing the crossover was a button? <laughs> no, was, remember they changed it to hooks. Like you had to do. Um, yeah, you, but I'm yeah. talking about that. That was literally two things you used, and then your guard, your leaning was all that. That literally you only you could play that game with one hand if you truly was good enough. The level of disrespect right now. I'm a huge fight night fan. I love fight night. <laughs> So I'm just hurt. saying, it's 2019. Imagine being Dante Wilder, like sleeping everybody. Oh, man, you just run and jump kick or jump punch, like flying punch. <laughs> okay, so we're All over right. our limit. Oh, yeah. uh, man, it was right, so right. much stuff we missed. We we didn't talk about Call of Duty like we were supposed to. Um, oh, oh, yeah, that was damn. Yeah, we got well, a we, lot. We, we kind of blanked on E3 because last week we did say we we're going to talk about Call of Duty. And I, I wasn't, to be honest, I just wasn't going to follow E3. I, I didn't do it last year and I wasn't going to do it this year. But it, I, I had to watch something because um, I wanted to see, especially with Sony not being. I think if Sony was there, I wouldn't have watched it. But if since Sony's not wasn't there, I wanted to see. I was pretty what excited what Xbox was going to do because it was like, yo, you got the floor. You bro, got the floor they, to yourself, bro. I think they messed up by not giving the real name of the, the new Xbox. Oh. Well, I mean, people like, speculate. What would the name have hurt? No, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, really. It, it scares you because they not, what if they not ready? Thank you. That's what I'm saying. And if you lead in the, like, if they, real talk, last note for me, and I'm gonna say thank. First off, let me just say thank you, Tone. Thank oh, you, Tone Def Network. Appreciate you, man. The family, hostly awkward, uh, Def Fresh Show. All you guys, please go check out those shows on Spreaker.com and anywhere else you listen to your podcast. The link is check them below. out. Yeah, all the links are below. And then check out our individual channels, um, Baron J Six Seven. Everything we sure uh, did just jump into this episode. We did, and then Nerds Noir, all of that. Check it all out. Links are below. But this is gonna be my final word. If they don't come out with five solid console exclusive games, which I know they're not, it, it, it's a because guess what? They finessed us this generation. Remember, Crackdown 3, Scalebound, and um, there was something else that was supposed to come out. Scalebound got canceled. Uh, Crackdown 3 barely came out this year. I'm oh, good, man. Xbox, I don't know. And I, I only got an Xbox for the exclusives, and I ain't buy one of them. Because there's not, I mean, which, would you miss, Forza? No. <laughs> <laughs> for sure not buying Forza, dog. Dude, remember we used to be really into car games. I used to play the hell out of, like, Midnight Club and stuff. Man, yeah, I used to love Need for, Speed. Need for Speed. That's all I used to play. Shockingly, I really Grand did Trismo. play the heck out of car games. Yeah. But, but no more. I mean, because we, we got older, man. Listen, when when I can bring up a website and see all the gears and guns I've collected, I'm good, man. <laughs> That's all I need in life. I don't need nothing else. Just say, oh, yeah, you want to go put... Nah, see, if I'm going to play a game, I'll put time in this because I got experience to gain. I need Ingrams to get and all of that. So I'm sorry. I can't play that game with you. Not today. Not today. But, well, all right, man. All right, folks. That's going to do it for me. Yep. Everybody, make sure uh, praise the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Just like an Xbox uh, presentation. <laughs> Peace. Peace.